Hello everyone, Excedra here bringing you episode 11 of Exoria, a mod pack by DevQuest. So my base is really ugly right now because I guess that a two hour time lapse really wasn't long enough for what I wanted to do. I'm going to have to continue cleaning the base, but uh, not right now because I need to be able to record again and I want to move forward the mod pack today. So one of the thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to try doing another stream next week. So I want to try and I'm not saying that I'll be able to, but what I'd like to try and do is to follow a try and record every Saturday from three to five my time. So Eastern Standard Time, just to get used to doing this and see how it goes. Uh, my biggest problem during the time lapse is not that I wasn't able to finish the uh, the reorganization of the base. It's more that I was unable to automate stuff. I really, really thought that I, I would be able to get through enough to start automating stuff. And right now, nothing is still automated. The extraction from that chest is not done. And the strainers, some of them are still empty. And nothing's being taken from them. So this is still overfilling like always, and I have to keep monitoring to make sure that it doesn't go overboard. So I still have a lot of work to do, but as I've been doing the work that I had to do, I've been producing a lot of resource, so I got a lot more iron right now, and I've been working on copper for the next part of the quest. So let me take that. You know what? Let's put these 32 right here, and I'm going to take a full stack because that's going to be better. And let me just get, oh, wrong door. Let me just get some things off of myself. Is there really any place here? Yeah, I'm going to put the uh, beautification uh, tools right here because I don't need them right now. Let's dump that right here. And what's that? Waddle and Dob. Waddle and Dob was, at, okay. So if you saw what I did is I decided to keep the portal inside just because it was going to be easier. And this is all cob. So this is like the first section I ever had to build. And then this one is waddle and daub because that's the second section I had to build. This is the oak wood shakes that I'm using where I need a lot of material because of how cheap it is. And once I'm done with this side, this site will be the concrete site because that's where my foundry is. So that's kind of the progression I'm trying to make right now. One of the things I want to do today, uh, how many are left? So one of the thing I want to do today is I want to finish transforming these uh, sieve into iron, uh, flint stiffen mesh into iron stiffen mesh because I really need to be able to, um, I really need to be able to get my diamond. That's one thing that's very important today. So the other side is going to happen first. Oh, I wasn't fast enough. Wow, okay. So I'm gonna grab them now. Come on, come on, come on. The moment it appears. Okay, I was able to get two and three, perfect, four. So I was able to get four. Like I told you last time, let's just check my chest here. How many plates do I have? No, not in this one. I have to find my plate. So last time I told you it was I have a blank. I don't know if it was five or six iron plate per. So let's try five first and see if that was the number. Where's my hammer? I need my hammer to crush these into plate. Stone hammer. And where's my crushing table right here? Perfect. So let's do this. And let's do five. Three, four, five. Perfect. And now the operation was that first I need to cut them using the uh, sni snips or snipes, which I don't have on me, of course. I'm going to have to find it right here. The iron clipper, not the snipes. What am I talking about? So iron clipper, and I hope it's five per, but I, I think it might be six. Let me just check quickly. Uh, yeah, it's six. So I need one more. So let's come back here. And we're going to do one more. And now this one clipped is going to give me 48 iron strand. 
and 48 iron strand with a ga stone Gallagher. Where's my stone Gallagher? Uh, probably in the same chest down here. It seems I've moved everything, every single tool. Nope. Yeah, right here, the stone Gallagher. So that's going to give me, give me eight mesh. So stone Gallagher, eight iron mesh, eight iron mesh around a flint stiffen mesh is going to give me this. So now I have one, two, three, and I know that I have more here. So I have one, two, three. Oh, I didn't want this on me. So this, this one. Oh, so now it's finished with the ash, so I get all of them. Let me just check here and get rid of this and this and this. And let's finish transforming. So I need one, two, three, four, five. Oh, six. Ooh, six is a lot. But anyway, let's try to do this. So six, I need six per. So that's 36. So let's just do this quickly. I'm going to try and click it as fast as possible so it ends quickly, but we have more than enough. It's still 36 iron, which is very expensive, but then I'm going to be comfortable saving my dust. Because it means I'm going to have... Oh, really? The stone Gallagher is already... The stone hammer is already dead? That is not a solid hammer. Stone hammer. I'm wondering if I should not... Let's make... You know what? Let's make three. I feel like I'm going to use a whole other one doing this. So that's 12... 14... 15... 18 is going to be three... So I just need double that and I just have to click like crazy. This is a bit boring, but I like having the ingots more than the plates because even though casting the plate would have saved me time, uh, if I don't need the plate in the end, I would have to remelt everything. So because we're in the beginning and because resource are kind of sparse, it's easier to just transform what you need right now. So that's 36. Voila. Let's hope the clippers don't die. So 36 using the clipper. I'm going to have to empty some stuff from here. So let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. This can be combined. This I can get rid of. Let's get rid of a stone hammer. And let's see what we can do with the clipper. Hopefully it can clip all of that. Yes. Great. So now 32, 32, 32 and I'm gonna have you know what I always forget this feature you do this and then you balance the grid Et voila and now with the uh, Gallagher What did I do with my Gallagher again? Am I just oh yes, I'm just blind always blind it's right here stone Gallagher This is gonna give me all of the iron mesh that I need. Ooh, that sound was weird I put it right here and then I go one and two and three and four and five and six and now everything's iron stiffen mesh and if you remember correctly the reason we did that is when i look at the iron stiffen mesh and i put dust that's the one that has a chance of giving me giving me tiny pile of diamond dust it's not emerald but for now it's going to have to do because we need a lot of diamond so let's empty that a little bit. This is niter, so dust, dust, dust. And let's grab these lapis and this burnium. And this niter is fully used. So let's put all of this in here. And now, let's just transform this, I forgot. This trick is so amazing. Let's put all of this in here. And this, and do I have any more space in this chest? Let's get rid of this in here. So there's no more dust here. There's no dust in here. Nope. No dust. Yeah, dust, dust, and dust. And no dust in here. And now we should be able to extract all that dust. And now we can get all of this saving. One, two, three. Let's just do three stacks to begin with. And the reason I want to do three stacks to begin with is that we really need just a couple of diamonds to get started. So while we're waiting for this to sieve, let's get started on some other quest. So the reason we were doing that is that we want to get a prismarine shard and a tiny pile of diamond dust so that we can then transform that into a uh, diamond 
And as I showed you in the last episode, I need at least seven diamond to make a stack of 10. So let that continue. And while that's continuing, I'm going to show you what I want to do. So magical life, there's three things to two, three path, the infusion life, the bees and the botania. So I want to do botania, but botania, I'm going to need some diamonds. So until I have the diamonds, I don't really need to work on this. So I want to work on infusing life. In one of those books, I read of a way to bringing, oh, of bringing dead animal back to life. That sounds not really realistic, but if this life infusing really works, I am in much better shape. I will start and try that on dead fish. So it wants 12 runestone, 5 chiseled runestone, 2 runestone brick, 3 tiny item input, 1 tiny item output, and 1 machine controller. So those are modular machinery. I'm going to need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I'm going to go look at the B also because I need more here. 6, 7, 8, and 9. I'm going to need 9 of these modular machinery. Let's read that one also. To be or not to be. In one of those books, I read of a smaller fairy subspecies looking similar to bees. They are very shy and need to be lured. Apparently, they like seed oil, fairy dust, and flowers. The book said that those bees are able to gather resources. So this seems to be very useful for the future. So to craft these modular machine, if I look at this here, modular machine, oh, modular machine. Oh, sorry, machine. I had it right there. So I need, every machine needs a machine casing. So we counted that we needed nine of those. That's why I work on the copper this much, because if I do this, that's going to give me eight machine casing and one more set is going to give me nine. That's nine machine casing. Now, each one of them needs a machine controller and that's with a lever. So do I have any level lever, lever, wow. That was hard to say in here. Nope, what about here? Those are on lit torches. Not in here. I'm really having problem finding my resources. So two lever. So I don't even need to go back there. Two lever with this is going to give me two machine controller. And the rest of the things that we need to do are either input or output. So we need a tiny item input here. And for this one, we need three tiny, tiny item input. So we need four tiny item input. So the tiny item input are one with one of the bad chests on the chest on the top. So I need four of those. I already need that. I already know that I need a tiny item output and that the tiny item output is the same thing, but at the bottom. So let's do that. And now the other things that I need is a, let me just check here. Completed, completed, completed. Perfect. And on this side, I need a tiny fluid input and a small item output. So now let's look for the small item output. Small item output, that's with a normal chest. Do I have a normal chest somewhere? Is this, this is not empty. Oh, I'm gonna have to craft one. Hmm. I have a quick solution for that. I would not prefer not to do that, but. Voila, so that's going to get five. I didn't know the Orberry bush. I thought they gave only one each. Oh, well, that's kind of amazing. So I'm not going to be sad about that. That's a very good result. So let's use this. And I need wood. Do I have any wood? Not in here. Do I have wood in here? Nope. What about here? Nope. So it seems it's something I'm going to have to prepare. So let's just go. So I have five. So five times eight is 40. So let's just grab. Oh, no, it's. It's time seven, so it's 35. So that should be enough. Let me come right here. And that should give me my five. Yes, perfect. So now I can do this as an output. Oh, small item output, perfect. And now what I need is the last one is a fluid hatch. Tiny fluid input. Oh, uh, let's just read because I want to be careful. Tiny fluid input hatch. So tiny fluid input hatch needs a seared tank uh i don't have any seared brick okay so that's going to have to wait just a little bit and since i made a little bit too much of these chests i'm going to take full profit of that and put some chest right here 
just because I want to do this. Ah, feels much better now. Because that was, I hate having a full inventory and I'm not ready for the rest. Let's grab all of this here. Finally, my prismarine chart. Really, 17 only. I really got unlucky with that. That is a very low drop rate. Oi. Okay. Do I have any here? Nope. Do I have any here? Nope. I'm just searching because I'm hoping beyond hope that I have some somewhere in here. No. These, these chests are new. What am I doing? So, no. This is all I have. So, if I use K on this, this is four diamond dust. So, it's not even worth transforming because I want a minimum of seven because seven is what will maximize my creation. So now I need a lot more dust before I do diamonds. It's a good thing that I have a lot of other things to craft because I'm going to just start all of this dust now. So let's put all of this uh, dust, I mean ash. Let's put all of this ash in the machine because we're going to be continuing on another project. And I'm just going to make sure to get as much dust as possible. But this seems like it's going to be a ongoing problem. My whole playthrough of getting enough resource. Of diamonds especially. Because diamonds are obviously what's going to be a problem. Oh, I have some. How many do I have here? Huh? <gasps> Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, so at least there's that to make up for. So let's put all of this in here. And we're going to let that work. And just because I don't want this to clog, let's just empty all of this. And we'll put all of this in this chest right here. So let's put all of this in the chest right here. And now we need one glass. One glass, and I'm going to make that uh, missing output that we wanted to make. So machine casing, let's go craft that right now. This with surrounded with eight gives me a seared tank. <clears throat> and for a tiny fluid input, I need this. So that should be everything that I needed for that. So let me check here. Yes, all that I'm missing is 23 B house and for this one the rune and runestone like I can't go outside right now because it's raining but the moment the rain is done I can do it so let's look at those bee house what's the cost of those bee houses the bee houses are okay not not that expensive well not that expensive not super inexpensive but not extra expensive too so now trusty good old calculator I need 23 of those and I need five, six and a half plank. So 23 times 6.5 equals 149. So I need 149 plank divided by 64. That's two and a half stack. So I guess I don't really have a choice. I'm going to have to be transforming a lot of wood uh, and I have this and I have this I don't know if I'm going to need all of this I know I'm going to need those two sticks and let's just do that right now so let's start transforming and I'm going to need some more block for sure this is going to break in a moment I'm just trying to do this as fast as possible now, this is not as bad as I thought so I'm almost at a stack already Okay, so that's one stack. Let's break, let's make two. One and two, and let's continue. As long as my iron axe doesn't break, I don't feel it's so bad. My worry is that it's going to break and I'm gonna have to make more iron, which I would prefer not to. So that's going to be two stacks. If I make three stacks, I'm gonna be good. Getting four plank per is much less of a hassle. I kind of forgot about that. When I thought about doing this, I was like, a two plank per, oh man, that's a lot of wood, but I get four now. So it really makes a big difference. Perfect, so that's enough. Uh, I'm going to need my handsaw, copper handsaw, perfect. And I'm going to need, so that's three per 23, 
23 times 3. So 23 times 3, 69. So let's get a full stack. That's going to be 64, 66, 68, 70. There is no 69. I can just make 70. And like this, and that's my 23B house. Wow, so that's a lot easier than I thought. So the rest is runestone. And until the rain stops, you know what? Maybe it's night. Oh, it is night. Okay, so that's a good one. It means we're going to be able to go and harvest our runestone immediately. So now I just have to find my gem. And let's just check here to make sure this is not full. Perfect, so that's the dust put here. The reason I kept two stacks of dust is that I really wanted to... Um, I really wanted to... Finish a sentence? I really wanted... to keep it to be able to get emerald. I thought I was going to be able to get enough diamond to make one diamond mesh. And then I was going to remove all of the mesh and keep only one mesh with diamond and see if all of the dust to at least get my emerald. Because I don't know that we need a lot of emerald in this uh, game. And it was going to be a quick way of doing this. Perfect. So I harvested all of this. Does this give me 12 and... Yes. So I have everything and I need two runestone brick. One and two. Oh... Okay, so I derped, and now I only have seven runestone. So that's not enough. You know what? Since we're here, let's just harvest all of this. The bones are always useful. It's always something that you run out of. Having the rotten flesh is super useful. And let's go back home. Uh, no, let's go to another rune circle. Oh, this one we were stuck in. And this is one that's worrying to use. Because I do not want to be stuck in lava or lose any of those things. I think I lost one to the lava. Oi. So let's grab this, this. Perfect. And I have a goal. I thought that in my time lapse I might have enough time. I obviously didn't. But I was hoping that I might have enough time to come into this place and just harvest everything. Like just grab everything from here. So that I would never have to come back here. But obviously, that wasn't a thing. So, we're back. We're going to dump everything here. Like so. Don't need this, don't need this. And now we can look at the quest. So we have everything to build our two machine. So this wants us to create some fish stuff. And th this wants us to get some fairy dust from the bees. Let's go look at my sand situation, uh, my dust situation. Perfect, and let's put it in here. Okay, so for the setup, I'll be honest, I want to put the setup inside. My problem right now is space. I don't have a lot of space because I was never able to complete everything that I wanted. So I'm just trying to find my, my shovels and kind of want to put these things back here. But it's going to take a long time. And it's something that we're not going to use often. And I don't want the bee. No, you know, I, I said something and now I'm taking it back because it makes no sense. There's no reason for me to put these things inside. One, I barely, I'm barely going to need them. And two, the bees are going to be something that hurts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out here and do I have everything? Oh, no, I don't have everything. Let's go back. I need two things. I need the blueprints and I need these. Where are my blueprints? I just have to find my blueprints quickly and we're going to go build both machines. It's really simple. I think I almost even know them from memory. You can put them down, but they're not really easy to remember the setup. So I don't necessarily recommend... Well, you can't really place it in the order that you want them. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here and I'm going to put them back here so that at least they're more out of the way, that they're not completely on top of where I'm always working. So let's break all of this just to make some space. And we're going to make the first machine is going to be the life in Well, I'm going to put the bees here because this is the corner that I feel I will have to come the least often. So that's where I'm going to put the bees, I think. Um, just give me one second to think about this. So I can put, I need to put three machine. I need to put the life infusion and I need to put the bees. And then once the bee attractor is done, I'm going to need to do something with the bees. So maybe the better idea is to put them side by side because the bee attractor is not going to hurt me and then I can put the bees in the corner. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So let me just finish breaking a little bit of this so that we're making space. And I'm going to put them one here and one right next to it unless the time of digging it in, digging it in the wall is too long. So the first machine that we said we're going to build is the life infusion machine. And oh, I'm going to go, I'm going to need to go get more. That's annoying. So let's look at the life infusion machine, life infuser. So the life infuser is basically kind of totem. So you have these totem on each side that requires three rune and a chiseled rune. And the middle one is, and they're all separated by one. So it's a one, two, three, four, five, six, it's seven deep. And then there's this totem in the front. So if I was to build it here, I would need to do this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I would center it right here and do this. So it would be like this. And then there would be, we need three inputs. So one, two, three ouch and then the runestone brick is how many behind is it it's basically one two three behind so three behind one two three so in this right here this is where we need to put the next one that looks kind of weird but we'll at the end it's going to look nice so a tiny item output and now we need the standard normal one the runestone and the chiseled runestone so the rune stone is right here. One, two, three, four, right here. So these, oh, I still have to break this. So how high is it? It's three high and one, so chiseled. One, two, three. I don't know if it's going to transform if it's in the wall, but now I'm really committed and kind of curious about that. So let's see if I go. So that's equal. So that's not where we want it. We don't want it here. We want it two behind. So it would be here. So that's one, two, three, four. So it's a chiseled one, two, three. Need to do the same on the other side. This looks so weird. When it's fully covered, it's going to look better. But for now, I just want to see if this is going to work. I'm really curious right now. One, two, three chiseled one two three and did the machine transform color no it did not so i guess it needs to be fully uncovered so let's go down here and down 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 and let's grab some more shovels i thought i oh yes i do have one just not looking in the right place right now oh i have one right here is there any other sticks? Yeah, another stick. That's going to be another one. So that's going to be three, but I know I'm done with this. So I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need this. This I can put aside. And let's use K to transform all of this into ash. And let's go put it in here to continue harvesting. And we can always grab the dust. It doesn't feel like I'm producing that much dust. It doesn't seem like it's sustainable. But anyway, let's just go back here and continue this. Go up right here. 
and let's just remove the blocks around. What I'm going to assume is that they need to be one free all around. That's where that's the hypothesis I'm going to be working on from. So let's remove all of that, which is also going to provide me with a lot of needed ash like this I just have to be careful if I start hearing the Gru that I'm ready to run out of here because the Gru is not funny if you saw the time lapse at some point I got stung by the Gru and I became blind and then I had to run away and I was really worried for a while but we ended up surviving so let's do all of this so all right here uncover this Maybe there's also an error in my belt. That's also possible when you're not seeing what you're doing. It's very possible that you end up building the wrong form. Oi. Okay, I have another one at least. So let's just continue this. And... Is it still encased? Yes, by a couple of place. Okay, et voila. So this is no longer encased in anything. And let's just take a look at the life infuser. Life infuser. So life infuser is this with three on top. Then it's one, two, three, and one. The middle one seems... Ah! It might have worked in case. I might just have made one small mistake. So I have to get back. I completely forgot that the middle one needs the same uh, decorated rune on top. So I need one of these chiseled rune stone on top. So let's go back and hopefully this is going to turn the machine on. But we're not really ready to use it. I just want to place it for now. So let's go back here and I'm going to need something to climb on hey voila and you saw the color change so when the color changes, it, it means the machine is made so now in here blueprint found none let's show the life infusion blueprint and says structure found life infusion status no matching recipe found so we're now ready to start making stuff Okay, so the life infusion. Oh, I'm looking at B. So the life infusion, the next step is it wants us to make a bucket with cod, a bucket with salmon, a bucket with clownfish, and a bucket with pufferfish. We also need a cactus needle and sandstone and fusion stone. I'm going to make one of these on camera right now to show you how it works. And the other one I'm probably going to do in a time lapse. So I need. Uh, let's get rid of all of this. I need some cactus needle. So for the cactus needle, I'm not sure I showed. No, I never showed you this. Showed it in another mod pack. You hold shift and right click, and it gets you a cactus needle and hurts you. So I'm going to grab a couple. And if you click faster, you get more and it hurt less. It's one weird mechanic. But it does work. You saw when I started mask clicking, I took less damage and I was able to get 12. So now that we have these, cactus needle, we need some sand. And sand is right. Where is sand? Sand's right here. And now we need to make a sandstone block, like so. And a sandstone block with a cactus needle on top gives us a sandstone infusion stone. Cactus needle, let it detect. Hello. Okay, sandstone and fusion stone. And now it wants us to make a bucket with cod. So let's search for that. Bucket with, with cod. So basically a bucket with cod is in the life infusion. We need to put a life infusion sandstone, a bucket and a raw fish. So I need a bucket. Where's my bucket? And I'm also going to need the raw fish. So not here, bucket's not here, Ugh, don't tell me I won't be able to find my oh, bucket, 
And now I need a raw fish. I know where I have raw fish. Let's just go to the direct source where I know I got some. Oh, that's bad. How many items? Okay, so you see, that's what I was telling you about. This is the worry about this. Now that this is overfilled, all of these items fell into the world. And you have to jump down under to collect to not lose them. So I'm just going to remove as much rock as possible. And I'm just going to transform it into gravel like so and let's just get rid of the granite and the andesite and let's grab some more rock always leaving myself one spot oh i'm really sad that i didn't arrange that in the time loss i didn't have time to finish that because now this is becoming a problem so rock 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 and rock Whew, okay so crisis averted and I didn't lose any item because as you saw there was a lot of things under there that were just waiting on being processed. So let's grab this, let's push this in here and let's go just put these resources in quickly because I don't want to screw that up again. Push this and this in here, push this and this in here, restart this, get rid of this iron for now. Voila, I didn't even take the fish. I did that and I didn't even take the fish. So a raw fish and now we're ready to make this recipe once. Let's go upstairs immediately and let's do it. I want to show you how it works. So basically the life infuser, it told you that we need three items. We have three input. So one is a sandstone infusion. Second one's an empty bucket and third one's the fish that you want. And now it says you have to wait for it just a little bit. It took everything, status processing, and now you 3-4%, and once it's done, it's going to be in here. So while we're waiting for this to process, let's make some space, because now we're going to start setting the bee house. So let's come down here, and we're going to take just a moment to look at the bee house. Perfect. So the plan for the bee house. The bee house, oh, that's a very simple structure. So we're going to do the same thing, but instead, this one I started on here because I didn't know how big <clears throat> and how much space this was going to take. But the bee house, I'm going to center and I'm going to start here. Now need the bee house because the bottom layer is all bee house like this. And then the middle layer, and that, that's the one that con was confusing to me the first time. Do you see these special blocks? All that it means is that all of the special block can be on that layer. That's all it means. So let's remove this layer right here. And I'm going to build this in a bit of a cheaty way. I need my slabs. I'm going to need nine. So five, six, seven, eight, and nine right here. So I'm going to start with the slab because <clears throat> I know I'm going to put a bee house right here and a bee house right here. And then we need slab on top. I'm just going to finish the roof first and I'm going to screw it up and put one in the wrong place. And now I can decide what I want to put where. We know for sure that the top layer has to be full bee house. So let's do that. <clears throat> and now let's decide the input and the output. So we're going to need a small item input that's to put some dust in. We're going to need a no sorry small item output that's where the bees are going to come out of i'm going to make the bees come out on this side in the middle so let's put that right here and then we need a tiny item input that i'm going to put right in this corner because that's where we're going to put some fairy dust and i need some tiny fluid input i'm going to put that in the back right here and now let's fill the rest with bee house Last one goes here and this change color. We now have a bee house. So it says structure found bee attractor status, no matching recipe found. So the reason for that is if I look at fairy princess, fairy queen, you get it from a bee attractor with a fairy dust and some seed oil. Fairy dust you get from a fairy. And this is important because this was what got me stuck for a long while in my other playthrough. 
Because I'm like, how am I going to get the fairy dust? I need the fairy dust. And if you read the quest, let's go back here. To be or not to be. In one of those books, I read of a smaller blah, blah, blah. So it tells you all of this. And then it says, you need a fairy dust. But when you search for fairy dust, fairy dust right here. When you search for fairy dust, it says, oh, that's what to do with it. It says that you get it from a fairy princess. Well, I don't have a fairy princess. So how do I get my fairy dust? So this felt to me like a chicken and egg kind of problem. Now, what happened is that I got my solution totally by luck. And I'm going to wait. This is done. Yes, this is done. So let's get our first bucket with cud. So we got one of them done. I'm jumping between two because I'm trying to be very efficient. But I got a bucket with cud. So that's done. And the problem is until we're ready to put it in water somewhere, we kind of have to keep it like that. I'm going to keep it like that for now. I can't really make the other one I tin on, on tin, tin, till, until I get some tin. So let me show all of this in here. Let me check how it's, oh, this is accruing dangerously fast. So let's grab all of the things that I can transform. Not having, like I said, not having automated this is kind of causing me a headache right now. But, you know, it's okay. We'll get it We'll get it fixed for sure. We'll get it taken care of. Let me just do all of this. And put all of this in here. So, what I was trying to say is that now we need to work on tin. And this has been working full time on copper. So, I'm going to have to go and grab some tin. You know, if I'm going to grab some tin, let's grab it from here. So, not this. Tin, tin. Grab the iron. Oh, these are done. Oi. Okay, so I know what I'm going to need to do with my iron. So in case you guys didn't really understand what happened there, is that I was having a resource production problem because this was overfilled. But all of my strainers, all of my iron strainers are all dead. So I'm really going to have to spend all of my future time concentrated on making some more iron strainer and that's a lot of iron so let me get rid of this let me put really that's not what i wanted to do let me put this here so this is a copper nugget and now this is the tin wow this is pr the tin is so crazy fast compared to everything else that we produced it's so fast that the hopper on top cannot empty fast enough to keep up with this this is how crazy the tin production is that's why it needs to be automated so by doing that i'm going to do some tin plate because i need to get three more buckets so one and six and eight and nine but the rest, I'm probably going to want tin gears. So I'm not going to complete this. So we want a raw salmon. We want a clownfish. And we want a pufferfish. Let's go back inside. And then we can make our three life infusion stone. And our three bucket. <clears throat> so that's going to be three buckets. And this is going to become one, two, three. Three life infusion like this and then i can push this in here i want to get rid of the gravel somewhere else so this this all of this do i have any cobblestone left anywhere yeah i'm going to make a couple more shovel because while i'm waiting for this i'm going to be working on shoveling outside so let's come right here grab these sticks and these sticks this is going to give me three shovels only so now i'm ready oh I'm ready to go back outside. Yeah, perfect. So now that I'm back outside, I can start the next fish and go back working on my bee house. So coming back here, one of these, one of these, and the next fish. Now I can already put the next one, one of this, one of this, and the next fish. And now we have to work on something. I was telling you about my problem. I was telling you about this will not work 
until we get our first fairy dust. So the things that you have to understand is that these things are fairy. And technically, fairy can give fairy dust. So let's come in here and let's see if we can kill one. So what happened? See this pixie dust. <clears throat> this pixie dust is something that I wanted to make some auto clicker. So I went around and I started ki killing these little fairy. This one gave me a pixie dust, but I think I have to kill the different one. Really? Where are you? There's one dying in here. It's right there. And hopefully... Oh, we're so lucky. So that's what happened. I was going around killing the pixies to get this pixie dust. And one of the fairy got in front of me. And I ended up killing it. And when I killed it, well, it gave me fairy dust. So that unlocked my problem. So now if I come back here... And I want to kill those as much as I can so I can get the pixie dust. So I got the fairy dust and I was able to come here and put it in here. That's not a lot, but hopefully one of the first queen we're going to get is the right queen. But that quest is done. Now the only thing is missing right here is seed oil. So that's going to have to be our next, our next thing that we're making. 86. I'm just waiting here so that it finishes this one because once this one's finished... Where are you? So annoying. That's also why I was killing them in the other playthrough. They were just all over the place and I needed to make the auto clicker because the auto clicker is what works for the farm. So you put a vacuum hopper and under the vacuum hopper, well, you put a vacuum hopper, sorry, not under, you put a vacuum hopper and then you put this these auto clicker and they click your farm and they harvest your farm so it's very practical i didn't get time to do uh, i didn't have time to finish that but it's something that's amazing and it's something that you really need to do if you want to start getting some seeds perfect so this should be done we have the bucket with clownfish next one has started so now let's just put the last one in this way the recipe will start and will be good and be able to continue when we come back upstairs. So let's go back downstairs right here and put this right here. Put some of this ash in here. And what do I get? A lot more dust. Dust, dust, dust. Perfect. How many piles of dust do I have now? I have seven. So you know what? I might as well, yeah, I'm going to start five more. So the moment that it's done with the ash, it's going to start the dust so I can get more diamond. And I'm going to put that in here. Perfect. So coming back here, this quest, I'm only waiting for my last two buckets to be finished. This quest I finished and now I open bee breeding. To be able to breed bees, I need something better than bee house, some sort of apiary. I also need to pacify them with their own honey so that I can analyze them properly. So we want an apiary, a portable analyzer, and a honey drop. Until we have a queen though, this is really not that useful. And I'll show you what the apiary entails. Apiary. The apiary in this mod pack seems simple enough. You need an impregnated casing. The impregnated casing you get by putting a wood casing into a stone barrel with seed oil. And how do you get a wood casing? With living wood. So that's where I wanted to get to because I want to get working on some living wood. It's going to resolve two problems that I have right now. Uh, let me look around. Do I not have any wood left? Seriously. Uh, I need a lily, so a, a pure daisy. I'm going to grab two of those. And I need some wood. 64 right here. Perfect. So let's go outside and we're going to get started on that. I'm going to put a pure daisy right here. And the other one, you know what? This, this has been annoying me. I'm going to put one right here. So the way this works is same as any other botania. You put wood around like this, and the wood is going to transform 
into the um, magical wood. What is it called again? We have a quest for that anyway. So let's go back here. Living wood. So I just wait for this and it's going to give me living wood. It takes a little while. And the moment these are done, I'm going to collect them. And you know what? I have a little bit of waiting to do. So might as well use my time as best as possible and do a little bit of harvesting because I want to stay within reach of here so I can see what's going on. So let's do that. Oh, I love this hatchet. It changed my life completely getting to that. So let's do all of this and we're going to replace the sapling on our way back. Perfect, so all of this and now I can just go sapling all over the place. And by now my wood should be transformed. Yes, my wood's transformed. So I have to get to it quickly or else it will double transform because we did some um, living wood. And the next stage is right after. That is not normal in Botania. That's something that's been changed in this pack. Because as you can see, there's still a shimmering happening. So let's just grab these quickly before they transform again. But these are now normal living wood. And these, because I'm not picking them up, are going to become dream wood. I'm going to make more living wood because as you've seen, we're going to need a lot more. But the living wood, what can we do with living wood? Um, nope, nope. No, I didn't press R on the living wood. So the living wood, we can make mana spreader, obtuse platform. There isn't really much we can do that we need right now. If you look at everything that we have, uh, nope. We don't really need any of these things. What we need are wood casing. So it's something that we're 100% going, going to be using for wood casing always. Now I'm grabbing these eight because I want them for the quest to be able to complete another quest. But the thing that we want right now is to be able to make apiaries and to make apiaries, we need some living wood. So we have both of those. I noticed that wood logs placed around one of those pure daisies will eventually transform. And I can repeat this process again, or just leave them there to get an even, to get even another wood variant. I wonder what I can do with this wood. So we got both. Let me collect this again, just to make sure that does this work on this kind of, no, it doesn't work on this kind of wood. Of course, it's made only for normal wood. It would have been too OP if it worked on everything, considering that it takes no damage and that it mines this quickly. But as you've seen, it makes harvesting wood a real pleasure. So now that open up the next, oh, that didn't even open up because we need gem. So we're kind of stuck. Let's go upstairs to go see if our life infusion is done. Let's go right here. And that's our bucket with salmon. And is this one? This one's, did I lose it? So this is one thing I'm not sure about this. I think that because it completed, oh no, okay, it started now. So it's at 8%. Whew. I got worried just for one second there. I thought maybe I had lost it because of this. So doing all of this living wood, how much is that? Let me just check. That's going to give me three. And I know of at least four princess. So let's just wait for this one to finish and then we'll go back inside. And that's pretty much going to be it for this episode. There's maybe one or two small things left I want to do. But it's very, like, that's it. We're, we're going to have finished life infusion and creating the bees. Oh, I know what it is that I wanted to do. Oi. So the last thing I wanted to do is I never started the process for the, um, for the seed oil. So now I have, this thing is not working. So let me get some loam from here. One, two, three, four should be enough. Let's come right here. This should be enough and I'm going to start it cooking. So two, three, you know what? I only needed two. It's kind of my bad that I spent a little bit too much time on this. So two that I'm going to make into clay that I'm going to transform into brick. 
right here. And while we're waiting, let's look at this. 25 diamonds. Wow, okay, so this time that's much better. That's giving me hope because it wasn't really going well before. But that that is the one quest I really wanted to finish today. So let's press K. That's 10, which is more than perfect because that means we at least have 7. I'm only going to take those 7 and I'm going to go in the crystallizer back here. And I have crystal shards left and let's put the 7. And this should make us 10 diamonds. So I'm going to let that process. I don't want to touch that until it's ready. And while we're waiting, I'm sure my other life infusion is finished. So let's go upstairs, which means we're going to have another quest completed. And the life infusion is a long track. Haha, -ha, voila. And the bees is a long track. That's why I want to start those as soon as possible. And I would say that it's a mistake keeping them for much later. So this is done. The next quest is to make fish tank. With the ability to make glass, I can now make some fish tanks and start to breed them. That will be nice for food. And of course, I am not lonely anymore. So it wants us to make 32 fish tank. Fish tank. So fish tank is seven glass pane around the water bucket. We're going to need two water bucket. The problem, if I remember correctly, is that it only accepts those water buckets. So I need a bit more tin plate. I only need one set and I can run around to get water. So let's make three tin plates. So one, two, and three because I'm gonna have a lot of buckets soon. When I start depositing those fish, I'm going to get um, as many fish, well, I'm gonna get four bucket because it's gonna give me the buckets back. So let's come back here, take this, do a bucket. And now where's my glass? I need water anyway, so let's go and grab some water from here. I can grab some glass from here. And now we need some glass pane. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six is going to give me my 16 glass pane, which I can put like this to make 16 fish tank. And let's grab some more water. That's going to give me my other 16 fish tank. Et voila, another thing done. So that's another quest done. which now opens the one that I was really interesting. This is all about making life. Egg came first. So I read about making some adhesive. I wonder what happens if I infuse life into it. So it wants us to make adhesive and heck. And I wanted to bring us here because this is going to show where we need to go next. So egg is made in the life infuser with adhesive, seed, <clears throat> and a red sandstone infusion stone. So now we have two problems. We need red sandstone infusion and adhesive. And the red sandstone, well, I don't have any way of getting that right now. I don't have a plastic deposition and I don't have a factorizer. So I'm going to have to find them some other way. And the other way is by going in another dimension. In the Exoria core, it is found between zero to 28. So that's what this means, the world gen. It says red sand has a 7.44% of being found between Y0 and Y31 with the highest rate being around Y1415. Okay, so we're going to need to go there. Now the adhesive, what's the adhesive? Adhesive? Adhesive is made from alchemy, alchemy recipe using an exchange tablet. So I really need to go toward Ember. So this quest line, I've brought to the maximum that I can. This quest line, well, I can continue, which I'm going to do next episode because I'm going to need to breed some bees. And this quest line, I'm still waiting for diamonds. But that being said, I do have my diamonds. So let's go see my beautiful, beautiful diamonds. They're all done. And seven gave me 10. I told you, this is the best ratio of all. This is the ratio you want to go with. In the beginning, you always want to do seven for 10. So I have a, a diamond and this also open a new quest line. It opened power up, which is guess what? Alchemy. So we're finally going to be able to, oh no, it's not open. I need rubber. Oh, I need rubber first. So we'll get into this in a future episode, but now we have a gem. We have a diamond. We need a diamond stiffened mesh to get an emerald. If you remember the diamond, 
stiffen mesh, let's look at mesh. The diamond stiffen mesh is made from flake diamond point. How do you get flake diamond point? By in-world flaking a flake diamond. And flake diamond you get by in-world flaking of a diamond. So now that I have that, I'm going to go up here because you need a hard surface to, surface to fly, flake a diamond and you need that. So that's why I wanted 10 because by using 10, there's a good chance that I will get my 8. So let's do this slowly. And the reason you want to do it slowly is that someone in the Discord said, the faster you click, the less chance you get of having one and the less chance you have of getting multiple. So that's two, that's three, and we have four. So that's a very good return right now. And we got two more now. So four gave us five, no, only one more, sorry. So only the first one gave us two, but we've got one every time, again and again. And oh, I'm so worried, please give me an eight one. Oh, see, this one didn't give us one. So now we have one for one right now. Oh, come on. And eight. Whew, I stopped talking because I was worried. Now we have to do this for the point. So one gave us two. One gave us two. Wow. Oh, maybe it's two every time. Wow, that's 16. Okay, so that's much better than I thought because now I can do this and I can do this and I can make two flint stiffen mesh. So let's come right here, flake diamond point, one diamond stiffen mesh and two diamond stiffen mesh. And now we can put these back in here, right here and right here. And I'm going to remove all of these. And the reason I'm going to remove all of these is that I'm going to restart some dust and I want to make sure that I have a chance of getting emerald. So I'm going to put all of this in here and now I'm going to take all of this dust and I'm going to put it all in here because the only thing that the diamond stiffen mesh can give me is 6% chance of emerald, 10% chance of diamond. So I'm not losing any chance of getting diamond, but I also having a possibility of having aluminum and emerald dust. So if I look in here, oh, seven more tiny pile of diamond. Uh, what am I? Nine. So that's three, four, five. So okay, so that's only five. I'm really two more, and I'm gonna be able to make ten more diamonds, which is going to be super useful for a future thing. Uh, tiny pile of diamond dust. Still nothing emerald wise. So emerald, I'm going to need four tiny emerald uh, pieces though. So that's, that might take a while. So that's something that I'm glad I was able to start. And I'm going to let complete over in the time lapse. And I'm going to come back to you guys uh, in the next episode to talk about. Because there's no point waiting here to look at this. So I'm also going to get rid of the fish. So now let's quickly talk about the time lapse. In my time lapse, uh, it's going to be a very small one, but the goal of this time lapse will be to finish uh, emptying this. Like I want to finish completely. Well, first of all, I want to remove all of these uh, obsidian from there, and I want to finish digging this out. So I finished the third level, and I'm not going to be able to finish today for sure. But at least I want to get it progressed enough, especially on this side. And I say that, but really now that I'm more sensible, what I want to say is that the strainer base is going to be my priority. I'm going to need to make more strainer base, which means here I'm going to need to start making some aluminum, uh, not aluminum, iron rod. So let's transform all of that into rod. Uh, did I just say all of it? Let's start with 12 because I'm not sure what 12 is again. So let's go back here. I just want to see what the survivalist uh, mesh is again. So like this. And I know it's made from these iron bar. I have 47. Okay, I already had some. So the mesh is... Uh, you know what? Let's just turn for search for strainer. Solid survivalist strainer. So it's four 
with four iron ingots. So I have enough iron that I think I'm going to be able to make six. If I look at this, oh, I only have 11 ingot left. If I go like this, that's more than enough. And if I go like this, that's two though. So let me just come back here and check. Did I have any iron in here? No. So iron is still a problem. And now I know I'm not getting any more until I make those mesh. So that's something I'm going to have to work on, which means all of this I want to make into ingot. And I'm going to have to melt all of this and transform it all. In. Well, it's all melted. So I just need to see how much this is going to give me. This should be about 10 more. So 16 is four and another four, that's five. Oh, I'm gonna have just enough iron. So that's what I'm going to do. Like I just said, I'm going to restart my uh, survivalist trainer with iron meshes because it's something I really need. And once this is restarted, I'm going to uh, continue working on the base a little bit, but I'm gonna have to keep it short because this episode was way too long, but that's going to be it. Uh, it's still raining. Can I sleep? Yes. I want to finish in front of my two biggest achievement of this episode. And this was so much stuff. I just wanted to get things done. Do I dare look? Oh, only two. Okay, so no. I'm not going to get my emerald in this episode. But there's a good chance that I'm going to get my emerald in the next episode. So let's just come up here and look at this. And this is my biggest achievement this episode. So we're going to end on that. Guys, as always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.